Hello everyone, today I'm going to introduce you to another Daniel Smith triad and we have three new colors, they're not new to Daniel Smith but if, you've wa if you watch a video that I did a little while ago I explained to you that Daniel Smith used to sell their watercolors in triads and uh, this time we're going to work with the quinacridone burnt orange the under the sea green and the garbanzo violet and here we have all the information on these three and the project that comes with this is a bunch of grapes so I'm gonna I'm not gonna draw this one I'm gonna find a, another reference picture and I'm gonna use the Canson Mulvad watercolor. Um, a little while ago, again, there was a video where I tried it with gouache. I did this and I found that it worked really well with gouache. It barely buckles and it's pretty flat, but everybody's been telling me that it works really, really nicely with watercolor too, so today I'm using it for watercolor. I'm going to use my washi tape, uh, not necessarily to have a white frame, but to keep a 5x7 format. So I hope you like this video. I'm sure you're going to like these three colors. I've painted this little sketch before and I really fell in love with these three colors. Um, so tell me what you think, if you like them, if you've already used them and, and how you like them. Uh, it's too bad again that uh, Daniel Smith doesn't sell their colors in triads anymore, but I thought it was a great introduction when they used to do that and it was a nice saving as well. Anyway, I'm going to get started. Stick around and uh, thank you everyone for watching. Hope you like it and I'll see you soon. Bye bye. Well, here I am again, a bit sooner than expected. Since this is a voiceover and I'm done with the painting, I can give you my impressions already. As you will see shortly, the colors are absolutely gorgeous. It's a nice set of secondary colors and they go very, very well together. I really honestly can't choose a favorite color because they're all so beautiful. Now for the Kenson Mulval watercolor sketchbook, I must say I didn't like it as much for watercolor as I did for gouache. Now don't get me wrong, it's really good paper. It's thick. It takes water really well, it didn't buckle, then again I didn't do very big washes. My main concern is it's hard to add layers. When you try to do that, it really moves all the pigments around from the previous layers and it gets really frustrating. Now I'm sure there must be a way to use it properly and I guess also it seemed like I had an easier time adding layers on the purple grapes than on the leaves. My washes were thicker for the leaves and then the for the grapes, the washes were very light. Uh, I'm not quite sure. I probably need to play around with it to get used to it. But it takes colors really nicely. The colors stay nice and vibrant. And another thing that I noticed is that the paper absorbs the water really fast. So I had to adjust my application of colors as well because at first when I wanted to uh, blend my colors, they were already dried and I ended up uh, having streaks. So that's something you need to know as well. Other than that, I thought the colors looked very nice on this paper. So I do recommend it. Just know there are those two things you need to be aware of. And since we all use different painting techniques, I'm sure this paper will be a great match for many people. As far as I'm concerned, I might just save it for gouache. I know I'm repeating myself, but thank you again for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.